In this video, we're going to explain the function of the reactor used in the electronic bores of inverter air conditioners. To do this, we'll describe the operation of the electronic circuits involved. 1. Alternating current, which flows in two directions, comes from the external power grid with a voltage of 220 volts. However, the electronic board operates with direct current, which flows in only one direction. For this reason, a rectifier bridge is required, which reorganizes the passage of current using rectifier diodes. 2. These diodes allow current to flow in only one direction, and thanks to the proper configuration within the rectifier bridge, we achieve a current with a single direction. Thus, the current at the output of the rectifier bridge has a voltage of approximately 300 volts of direct current. 3. Once rectified, the direct current goes to the PFC circuit, or power factor correction circuit, which optimizes the use of electricity so that the equipment operates as efficiently as possible. To achieve this, the PFC circuit performs the following functions. A. The power factor circuit allows electricity to flow smoothly and constantly, avoiding sudden peaks and dips. This ensures that the air conditioner operates efficiently. B. The PFC circuit is composed of a reactor, an IGBT transistor, a recovery diode, and stabilization capacitors. The IGBT transistor is activated and deactivated rapidly thanks to the action of the controller. C. The reactor stores energy in its magnetic field when the current flows through it, that is, when the IGBT transistor is on. The electronic controller, through control strategies, determines when the energy accumulated in the reactor is sufficient to replace the energy that is entering. At that moment, the controller deactivates the IGBT and suspends the current supply. D. When the IGBT transistor turns off, the energy stored in the reactor is released, helping to maintain a constant and smooth current flow, which is the energy required by the system. For, at this point, we must remember that testing or diagnosing the reactor is very simple. You just need to disconnect the power supply to the reactor, and with a multimeter on the own scale, measure the electrical continuity of this component. If you have the equipment manual, measure its resistance, and compare it to the value in the manual. 5. Finally, to finish explaining the diagram, we must say that the stable current that comes out of the PFC circuit goes to the intelligent IPM circuit, or module, which is controlled by the main controller, and is responsible for feeding the three coils of the inverter compressor motor. In addition, the IPM electronic module is responsible for controlling the compressor speed, according to the signal from the main controller of the electronic board.